Question 1. All of the following statements are true about participating and non-participating policies, except, A. Non-participating policies issue dividends to policy owners. B. Participating policies allow a policy owner to share in a mutual company's divisible surplus in the form of dividends. C. Non-participating policies issue dividends to shareholders. D. They are sometimes referred to as PAR and non-PAR. The correct answer is A. Non-participating policies issue dividends to policy owners. Question 2. Under which life settlement option does the insurer retain the death benefit but pays the beneficiary the earnings on the death benefit? A. Life income option. B. Accumulate with interest option. C. Cash option. D. Interest only option. The correct answer is D. Interest only option. Question 3. Ashley, the policy owner and insured, named Wendell as primary beneficiary and Barbara as contingent beneficiary. Just six, six, weeks prior to Ashley's death, Wendell and Barbara are killed in a common disaster. The insurance proceeds will be received by whom? A. Ashley's survivors. B. Wendell's estate. C. Ashley's estate. D. Split equally between the estates of Wendell and Barbara. The correct answer is C. Ashley's estate. Question 4. Which type of insurer requires an attorney in fact overseen by an advisory committee of subscribers? A. Reciprocal insurer. B. Reinsurer. C. Mutual insurer. D. Fraternal insurer. The correct answer is A. Reciprocal insurer. Question 5. At age 72, Mrs. Smith is considering applying for medical so she can afford her medical bills. Today Agent Charles is visiting her home and wanting to sell her an annuity product. Which of the following is true? A. Mrs. Smith must agree to meet with Agent Charles alone. B. Agent Charles cannot allow Mrs. Smith to purchase an annuity if after the purchase, Mrs. Smith wouldn't qualify for Medi California. C. Agent Charles should recommend the annuity purchase to assure he receives the greatest commission possible from the visit. D. It's permissible for Agent Charles to visit Mrs. Smith for the first time without providing her a pre-meeting notice in writing 24 hours in advance. The correct answer is B. Agent Charles cannot allow Mrs. Smith to purchase an annuity if after the purchase, Mrs. Smith wouldn't qualify for Medi California. Question 6. A client has purchased an annuity with an annual bonus she received at the end of last year. She has requested annual benefit payments to start at the end of this year. What type of annuity did she purchase? A. Flexible premium immediate annuity. B. Single premium deferred annuity. C. Single premium immediate annuity. D. Flexible premium deferred annuity. The correct answer is C. Single premium immediate annuity. Question 7. Which statement is false concerning insurance company regulations? A. The commissioner may begin conservation proceedings against companies who cannot meet solvency regulations. B. Insurers may not advertise their membership in the Guarantee Association. C. An insurer may be liquidated if conservation proves to be futile. D. An insurer suffering from an impairment of their minimum required paid in capital is labeled solvent. The correct answer is D. An insurer suffering from an impairment of their minimum required paid in capital is labeled solvent. Question 8. A 45-year-old investor has been laid off from his job. In order to pay bills he takes a premature distribution from his traditional IRA account. What tax penalties, if any, will he face? A. He will be required to pay a 10% tax penalty on the amount withdrawn. B. None. Distributions before the age of 59 and a half are penalty-free. C. None. Distributions during times of unemployment are not penalized. D. Since traditional IRAs are often tax-deductible, the client owes the normal taxes they avoided when they made their contribution. The correct answer is A. He will be required to pay a 10% tax penalty on the amount withdrawn. Question 9. Which of the following riders would provide for an insured to increase the face amount of their life insurance policy without proof of insurability? A. Accelerated death benefit. B. Guaranteed insurability slash future purchase option. C. Waiver of premium. D. Double indemnity rider. The correct answer is B. Guaranteed insurability slash future purchase option. Question 10. All of these statements about life insurance settlement options are false, except A. Life income with 10 years certain provides at least 120 months of payments. B. Settlement options like fixed period are good ways to provide an income to a beneficiary who cannot handle large sums of money. C. Life income payments are income tax-free. D. Fixed amount is the default option when no option is selected. The correct answer is A. Life income with 10 years certain provides at least 120 months of payments. Question 11. For an insurance contract, utmost good faith means A. 
The contract just involves the policy owner and the insurer. B. Each party relies upon the truthfulness of the other. C. Each party is equally responsible for the value of the policy. D. The policy owner will be indemnified in case of loss. The correct answer is B. Each party relies upon the truthfulness of the other. Question 12. All of the following describe differences between binding receipts and conditional receipts, except A. No claim is paid with either receipt until a policy is issued. B. Conditional receipts are commonly used for life insurance applications. C. The binding receipt always provides immediate coverage from the date of the receipt. D. The conditional receipt can provide coverage from the date of application once the application is later approved by underwriting. The correct answer is A. No claim is paid with either receipt until a policy is issued. Question 13. How many hours of continuing education are required per renewal for a life-only agent? A. 20 hours, 4 of the hours must be in ethics. B. 24 hours, 4 of the hours must be in ethics. C. 24 hours, 2 of the hours must be in ethics. D. 20 hours, 2 of the hours must be in ethics. The correct answer is B. 24 hours, 4 of the hours must be in ethics. Question 14. While collecting underwriting information, certain rules must be followed. Which of the following is incorrect? A. Insurers may test for HIV after getting informed consent from the applicant, and may ask questions concerning the existence of the condition as long as they don't reveal information about sexual orientation. B. Information contained on the non-medical application may result in the requirement for a physical exam. C. Post-claims underwriting is a valid and necessary means of determining the insurability of a potential applicant. D. When credit is used to determine insurability, the applicant must be furnished with the name, address, and phone number of the credit agency used by the insurer. The correct answer is C. Post-claims underwriting is a valid and necessary means of determining the insurability of a potential applicant. Question 15. The provision that protects the proceeds of a life insurance policy from attachment by the beneficiary's creditors after the insured's death is known as the A. Common Disaster Clause B. The Beneficiary Protection Clause C. Spendthrift, Trust, Clause D. Incontestability Clause The correct answer is C. Spendthrift, Trust, Clause Question 16. A partial payment of proceeds to cover final expenses is paid to someone not designated as a beneficiary but acting in a legal or fiduciary capacity. This is provided in which provision? A. Automatic premium loan. B. Facility of payment. C. Payer benefit. D. Cost of living. The correct answer is B. Facility of payment. Question 17. Which party has the legal authority to name or change the beneficiary? A. Policy owner. B. Insured. C. Agent. D. Insurer. The correct answer is A. Policy owner. Question 18. An agent who knowingly misrepresents material information for the purpose of inducing a client to lapse, forfeit, change or surrender a life insurance policy or annuity has committed an illegal practice known as A. Misrepresentation. B. Twisting. C. Fraud. D. Concealment. The correct answer is B. Twisting. Question 19. For a flexible premium deferred annuity, the time during which the owner makes premium payments and the time before benefit payments begin is known as the A. Activity period B. Annuity period C. Accumulation period D. Annuitization period The correct answer is C. Accumulation period Question 20. All of the following statements about life insurance policy illustrations and the senior market are correct, except A. The illustration will note that both guaranteed and non-guaranteed elements will remain unchanged for the years illustrated. B. Guaranteed elements must be emphasized in bold print. C. Illustrations must note that they are only an illustration. D. To be understandable, policy illustrations must follow certain formats so the insured can make informed buying decisions. The correct answer is B. Guaranteed elements must be emphasized in bold print. Question 21. Which of the following statements is false in regard to a life paid up at 65 whole life policy? A. The policy will endow at age 65. B. Premium payments stop at age 65. C. Premium payments will be higher than a straight whole life policy. D. The policy will mature at the death of the insured or age 100, whichever occurs first. The correct answer is A. The policy will endow at age 65. Question 22. Which of the following is considered ordinary insurance? A. Blanket policies. B. Whole life insurance. C. Mortgage redemption. D. Renewable term insurance. The correct answer is C. 
Mortgage Redemption Question 23 Which insurance is known for having a level premium with a fixed rate of return resulting in guaranteed cash value? A. Adjustable Life B. Variable Life C. Universal Life D. Whole Life The correct answer is D. Whole Life Question 24 The Commissioner can deny an applicant for a license after a hearing A. For applicants holding other professional licenses B. If the applicant has permitted someone in their employment to violate the California Insurance Code. C. For applicants seeking the license for the purpose of aiding the enforcement of the California Insurance Code. D. If the applicant doesn't lack integrity. The correct answer is B. If the applicant has permitted someone in their employment to violate the California Insurance Code. Question 25. What non-forfeiture option allows a policy owner to use the existing cash value to purchase a policy of the same face amount as the original policy but for a reduced amount of time? A. Reduced paid-up insurance. B. Cash surrender value. C. Extended term insurance. D. Extended paid-up insurance. The correct answer is C. Extended term insurance. Question 26. All of the following needs to be included on an application for life insurance except A. The agent's statement, if applicable. B. Disability Income Insurance. C. Life Insurance with Other Insurers. D. Signatures of the Agent, Proposed Insured, and the Owner. The correct answer is B. Disability Income Insurance. Question 27. Which of the following cannot be used in a policy illustration if non-guaranteed elements are intended to pay future premiums? A. Disappearing Premiums. B. Vanishing Premiums. C. Paid-up Premiums. D. Paid-up Additions. The correct answer is B. Vanishing premiums. Question 28. Which of the following is an incorrect statement about a client's privacy rights? A. Abuse of information found within medical records could result in a HIPAA violation. B. Consent is required before an insurer may access an insured's credit history. Any entry may be disputed if in error. C. Signed consent is required before an attending physician's statement, APS, will be completed. D. A client does not have access to their MIB report as it belongs to the member's life insurers. The correct answer is D. A client does not have access to their MIB report as it belongs to the member's life insurers. Question 29. In a group life policy with a death benefit of more than $50,000, A. Premium cost is tax deferred. B. Premium cost for insurance below $50,000 is taxable as income to the insured. C. Premium cost is taxable to the employer. D. Premium cost for insurance above $50,000 is taxable as income to the employee. The correct answer is D. Premium cost for insurance above $50,000 is taxable as income to the employee. Question 30. A client has a history of DUIs. To his insurer, they see him as a underscore hazard. A. Legal. B. Physical. C. Morale. D. Moral. The correct answer is C. Morale. Question 31. Which statement about reinstatement is false? A. The reinstated policy is incontestable if the first time it was in force it already passed the two-year mark. B. A reinstated policy's premium is based upon the insured's original age. C. Reinstatement usually requires an application with underwriting questions, but may not require any physical exams. D. Reinstatement requires payment of past due premium plus interest. The correct answer is A. The reinstated policy is incontestable if the first time it was in force it already passed the two-year mark. Question 32. In life insurance, beneficiary succession is the method used to determine who will receive death proceeds. If the primary beneficiary is not living upon the death of the insured who will receive the payment? A. Contingent beneficiary. B. Third-party beneficiary. C. Revocable beneficiary. D. Irrevocable beneficiary. The correct answer is A. Contingent beneficiary. Question 33. Term insurance is best described by which of the following? A. Provides coverage to age 100, builds cash value, participates in dividend payments, high premium and is payable at the end of a pre-selected period. B provides the option to adjust the face amount, change anniversary dates, and automatically increases face amount at given age. C provides temporary protection, builds no cash value, is less expensive, and may be renewed. D combines monthly income during a stated period with a death benefit, non-forfeiture provisions and greater flexibility during times of inflation. The correct answer is C. Provides temporary protection, builds no cash value, is less expensive, and may be renewed. Question 34. The Roth and traditional IRAs have some similarities. Which of the following is not true? A. Both allow the investor to invest for themselves and their non-income earning spouse. 
B. Both have penalties for early withdrawal. C. Both are tax deductible to the investor. D. Both grow tax deferred. The correct answer is C. Both are tax deductible to the investor. Question 35. Brian purchased a variable life policy and died 25 months after the issue date. It is then discovered that Brian understated his age on the application. What will the insurer do in regard to the payment of the death benefit to the beneficiary? A. The death benefit will be reduced to reflect the age discrepancy. B. The full death benefit will be paid because the policy is over. 2 years old. C. The policy will be rescinded and all premium paid will be refunded to the beneficiary. D. The death benefit will be paid to the estate of the insured for legal action. The correct answer is A. The death benefit will be reduced to reflect the age discrepancy. Question 36. Variable insurance and variable annuity products are regulated by A. SEC and FINRA. B. SEC, FINRA and DOI. C. DOI and FINRA. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. SEC, FINRA and DOI. Question 37. At what age does Social Security Medicare Program Part B start providing benefits? A. 62. B. 65. C. 67. D. 60. The correct answer is B. 65. Question 38. Which statement best describes agreement as it relates to contracts? A. One party accepts the exact terms of the other party's offer. B. Each party must offer something of value. C. The intent of the contract must be legally acceptable to both parties. D. All parties must be capable of entering into a contract. The correct answer is A. One party accepts the exact terms of the other party's offer. Question 39. Any person to whom the commissioner has issued a seizure order and who refuses to deliver any books, records, or assets of an insurer faces. A. Administrative fines only. B. A misdemeanor punishable by a $5,000 fine, if unintentional. Or $10,000, if intentional. C. A felony punishable by a fine up to $1,000, a year in prison. Or both. D. A misdemeanor punishable by a fine up to $1,000, a year. In jail, or both. The correct answer is D. A misdemeanor punishable by a fine up to $1,000, a year in jail, or both. Question 40. In insurance, the agents have authorization to represent the company. The producers may exercise this relationship through A. Underwriting Department, Actuarial Department and Claims Department. B. Express Authority, Implied Authority and Apparent Authority. C. Domestic Authority, Foreign Authority and Alien Authority. D. Reciprocal Authority, Risk Retention and Reinsurance. The correct answer is B. Express Authority, Implied Authority and Apparent Authority. Question 41. In which type of policy does the insurer apply flexible premium to pay for the cost of insurance and expenses and then uses the remaining balance plus interest to build the cash value account? A. Adjustable life. B. Renewable term. C. Universal life. D. Whole life. The correct answer is C. Universal life. Question 42. A policy pays the face amount if the insured dies before a specified date, or lives to that specified date. This best describes, A. Term insurance. B. An annuity. C. An endowment policy. D. Social security. The correct answer is C. An endowment policy. Question 43. Which of the following transactions would most likely be declined due to lack of insurable interest? A. A spouse insures the other spouse. B. A local hospital insures its chief of surgery. C. A parent buys insurance on their adult child. D. An employee insures their employer in the fear of losing their job. The correct answer is D. An employee insures their employer in the fear of losing their job. Question 44. An applicant has the right to know that the insurance company will collect certain personal information about their credit, character and reputation. The insurer may gain such information from A. A privacy notice. B. An application for insurance. C. A consumer report. D. A pretext interview. The correct answer is C. A consumer report. Question 45. An insurer invests the cash value of a fixed annuity in which of the following assets? A. General account. B. Blended account. C. Index account. D. Separate account. The correct answer is A. General account. Question 46. According to the CIC, life-only agents must keep records of their transactions for A. 3 years. B. 12 months. C. 5 years. D. 7 years. 
The correct answer is C. 5 years. Question 47. All of the following are true about key person insurance, except, A. The business is the beneficiary. B. The employee must give written consent by signing the application. C. The death benefit is taxable to the business. D. The business is the applicant and owner. The correct answer is C. The death benefit is taxable to the business. Question 48. Which statement below is least correct regarding the type of insurance that fits best with the applicant's needs? A. Applicants wishing to pay off a mortgage should they suffer a premature death might buy a decreasing term plan. B. Convertible term can be purchased by applicants who may require a larger death benefit in the future. C. Annual renewable term works well for employers looking to provide cost-effective group life insurance for their employees. D. Applicants concerned with the increasing cost of living should purchase increasing term. The correct answer is B. Convertible term can be purchased by applicants who may require a larger death benefit in the future. Question 49. Which of the following is not excluded from the California Life and Annuity Replacement Law? A. Purchasing group life insurance from a part-time employer. B. Purchasing a new policy that will take the place of an existing policy. C. Purchasing credit life insurance for the purchase of a second home. D. Converting a convertible term policy to whole life insurance. The correct answer is B. Purchasing a new policy that will take the place of an existing policy. Question 50. All of the following statements about policy provisions are true, except A. Suicide during the policy's first two years results in Policy rescission. B. Death during the grace period results in a full death benefit being paid. C. The automatic premium loan can keep a policy in force when payments are missed and there is sufficient cash value to pay the premium. D. The insuring clause states the insurer's promise to pay a death benefit if premiums are paid, and proof of death is received. The correct answer is B. Death during the grace period results in a full death benefit being paid.